Hi folks, this is Shafiq. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to focus on facial attribute analyze feature of DeepFace and its React.js UI, including age, gender, emotion, and finally, race and ethnicity prediction. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. In a recent video we published in this channel, we focused on deep facial recognition with deep face and its React UI. And this video is going to be an extension for it. Instead of verification of a face, we are going to focus on facial attribute analyze. This is going to cover age prediction, gender prediction, race and ethnicity prediction, and finally emotion prediction. Firstly, let's focus on how to get the application up. You basically need to clone the DeepFace React UI repository and also regular DeepFace repository. If you use this command, this is going to clone those two repositories in one shot. I'm skipping this step because I already cloned those two repositories into my desktop. Secondly, I'm going to skip facial database configuration because in this experiment, I'm not going to focus on face verification. Thirdly, in model configuration section, as you can see, this optional here, facial recognition model and distance metric are not important arguments for facial attribute analyzed experiment. On the other hand, you can configure the detector backend among one of these. Still, I'm not going to update the detector backend and I'm going to use the default detector which is OpenCV in this experiment. So I can switch the running service directly section. You can either run the service directly or you can consume the service with Docker Compose. If you want to run the service directly, you need to open two different terminals and in one terminal you should run the device API. This can be run directly or with its docker file and in a separate terminal you should run the deepface react ui similar to regular deepface you can run the service directly or via docker file if you do not want to run two different terminals then docker compost is a better option because once you clone those repositories into same folder thereafter running the Compose shell script under the base React UI's script folder. This is going to get both the base API up and also the base React UI up. But in this video, I'm going to run those two services directly. On the right hand side, I'm under the deep base repository, and on the left hand side, I'm under the deep base React UI. Under scripts folder, I'm going to perform service shell script and this gets the deepest api up at localhost 5005 port let's visit as you can see our deepest api is up and secondly i'm going to run the face react ui similarly i'm going to perform service shell script and as you can see this gets the react ui up there are two buttons one is verification one is analyze and in this experiment, I'm going to focus on just facial attribute analyze. If the face API is up in the background, all you need to click the analyze button. And let's focus on your face, then click analyze button. It says 35 years old, white man with happy mood. Its apparent age prediction is not so wrong because currently I am 37 years old. Meanwhile, its age prediction model comes with plus and minus four years mean absolute error and it's race and it is the gender and emotion prediction tasks performed successfully we can also shove two different faces into the webcam and expect this face pair to be analyzed as you can see it detects two different faces and one is 30 four years old middle eastern man with natural mood and the next one 35 years old white man with natural mood but in this experiment we showed a mobile phone and actually the face given is not a real face it's a spoofing we can detect the face and spoofing with this react ui easily if you open the 
repository you are going to see the .m file you actually need to copy this .m example as .m file and your environment variables are going to be set from this file and here as you can see there is a onto spoofing argument and its value is zero if you set this to one then this is going to perform phase onto spoofing tests as well once you update this .m file you need to kill your service and restart it again first day, try to analyze my image because i expect not to have a face onto spoofing as you can see it can detect 33 years old middle eastern man with nurture mode on the other hand i'm going to show an image from my mobile phone i'm going to open the developer tools as you can see from the exception log spoof detected in the given image so in this video we focused on how to perform facial attribute analyze with deep face and its react js ui facial attribute analyze covers age prediction gender prediction emotion prediction and finally race and ethnicity prediction and as i mentioned before this experiment is an extension of deep facial recognition if you do like this video please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel also making comments will help me to reach more people i'd be appreciate for your support thank you all for watching and see you next time